this is amazing imagine you are able to give a simple prompt like this and get an output like this as a front end react application yes that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started i'm really excited about react agent it's a react.js llm agent for the next generation coding using chat gpt i'm going to take you through step by step how to install this setup and run the code first git clone and then react agent and click enter next navigate to the folder next create a file .env under the backend main folder this can be done by echo and in the .env file you are going to save your open ai secret key this you can generate from open ai website i'll put all the code and commands which i'm going to type in this in the description below you can follow through just type this and click enter now if you open the backend main .env file you'll be able to see your open ai secret key here like this next type yarn install if you don't have yarn you can install it from yarnpkg.com website type yarn install and click enter this will install the required packages next if you see this image this application comprises of front end and back end back end is the place where you give input to generate all the react components front end that's where you get the output all the generated files will be here now if you see the main folder there are two folders front end and back end first we are going to navigate into the front end folder cd front end inside the front end folder there is a main folder inside the main folder there is a source folder src and inside the source folder there is a react agent folder that is exactly where all the files will get generated now we are going to navigate to the folder cd main source react agent inside this folder we are going to create another folder where we want to generate all those files let's create a folder called mervin present folder and click enter that's where all the files will be generated i'm going to navigate into the folder which i've just created inside that folder that's where you're going to give your prompts let's create a file called user story dot markdown md click enter i have already prepared a prompt for this the detail the prompt is the better application you will be able to generate so here it's a sas crm landing page I'm giving you an overview. The purpose of the document is to outline the requirements. Objectives clearly convey the value proposition. It's to target small to medium-sized business. And the content requirements are header, header section, key features, testimonials, pricing session, and then footer. Once after you've given this, you're going to save the file. Now we have saved the file. Now let's navigate to the backend folder. If you see the image, the backend is the place where we are going to trigger to generate those files. Now I am in the main folder. I am navigating to the backend folder, and if you see the structure of the backend folder, inside the backend folder there is main folder. Inside the main folder there is React agent folder. Inside that you have generate components dot ts. That is the file which triggers the generation of the React components. So let's open that file. Nano main React agent generate components dot ts and click enter. Now you can see the content of the file. In that file there is a place called container path change the container path to the folder name which you just created that is mervin prison and save that file navigate back to the root folder now you can open this folder in the vs code application and in the vs code application go to search and type gpt4 there you can see the model name listed there just for our purpose just because our context length is higher we are going to change that to 3.5 turbo 16k we are going to change like this So similarly we are going to do for all other files 3.5 turbo 16k and then save and in another file 16k and then save and change the default model to 3.5 and then 16k that's it the basic setup is done now we are ready to create the react front end application here we are going to type yarn backend colon and then dev and click enter This will automatically start generating the required components as you can see in the screen. This will take probably few minutes based on your requirements, so I'm going to skip this step and then show you later. Now in the terminal I see error like this. Just because this application is just on the first stage, you might face some errors like this, which you can fix by copying this and pasting it in ChatGPT and it will automatically give you the answer. You can see the file which causes the issue is generate components configuration. So I'm going to copy this error message. Here is the generate components configuration. I'm going to copy that and paste it in ChatGPT and click enter. I'm going to copy as per the suggestions. 
and after that restart the application. Similarly, I had to do a few times to get that fixed. Maybe because this application is very new, you might face those errors. Now we got all the files required to run the application. So if you see Mervin Prison folder, there you got pricing section, demo request, hero section, footer, testimonial section, header, and you got a few files there. And we got our user story here. Even in this uh, files like index.tsx, I got error like this, but it's easy to fix because if you see that folder, those footer logo, contact information, and then social media links, everything is within the folder. Here it's referring to somewhere else. So you can easily fix that by mentioning footer logo is in the same folder, contact information in the same folder, social links in the same folder and click save. Similarly, I had to do for one or two more files. All the files are ready now. Now we need to do one more thing before starting the front end React application. If you could see the folder structure, front end, main, source, and then you go to the gen react app tsx same like the example given above you can import mervin prison from dot slash react agent slash mervin prison slash demo now if you come down now we're going to create a constant same like analytics dashboard as an example you're going to create constant and you can see the suggestion sas mervin prison and then you're going to return the component after creating the constant even inside the app browser router, you're going to add the component, which is SAS Mervin Prison, the constant what we created now, and then click save. That's it. Now we are ready to run the application. Go to a terminal root folder, type yarn frontend colon and dev. This should start the application. Now we can navigate to this URL. I have copied the URL and pasted that in the browser. Here you can see the basic layout, scaffolding. So based on our requirements, it gave all the things, the testimonials section, the pricing section, and experience the power of our CRM solution. So it's a landing page with all the React components. You can build from here. This is a scaffold version. And that's it. You can even contribute to this React agent to fix all those bugs. Even though we face some hurdles to set this up, this is just a starting. Start building your application using this. I hope you like this video. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.